This morning, the countdown to the first presidential debate. President Biden with days of preparation at Camp David in Maryland. Former President Trump holding campaign events, policy meetings, and media interviews. And people say, how are you preparing? I'm preparing by taking questions from you and others, if you think about it. Biden is holding 90-minute mock debates with his personal lawyer, Bob Bauer, playing the role of Trump. I think political debates are about two things. They're about message and moments. Moments likely absent tomorrow include ones like this. The radical left, will you shut who is up, on, Listen, who is on your list? The microphone of the candidate not selected to speak will be muted. Another new change, no studio audience. Trump telling the Washington Examiner, to me the audience is easier because it's telling you what is going on indirectly with applause or not applause. This room is a sterile dead room. The debate comes as a judge in New York partially lifts Trump's gag order in his felony hush money case. A fundraising email signed by Trump reads he'll now be able to better defend himself tomorrow night. You have a race that's essentially tied in the in the polls at this point. And so I think that puts sort of equal pressure on both of the candidates, both um, in terms of the opportunity the debate presents to them, but also the risks. And this is all happening as we are waiting on Supreme Court decisions that directly affect Trump, including presidential immunity. Those rulings could come down before the debate.